Hello and welcome to my next smartwatch review. This one I'm really excited about. This is the ET310 smartwatch. Now I'm going to show you what comes out of the box here. All right, so here will be the watch itself. And it will have a an instruction manual and a charging cable and uh a little pamphlet that tells you how to do the ECG EKG test. I'm excited about this watch. First of all, I bought it with my own money, and by my own money, I mean the money from you interacting with this channel in some way. I do these smartwatch reviews, and then uh, what little earnings I make in ad revenue, I, I invest right back into the channel for new smartwatches. This one has some new capabilities. It's a 1.39 inch uh, screen, HD screen, 360 pixels by 360 pixels. Um, it, it will do heart rate variability, it has Bluetooth calling, so it will have a built-in speaker and uh, microphone. It will do heart rate, blood pressure, SpO2, EKG, ECG, it's got the button on the side there. Uh, it will also measure blood glucose, and I've done a run of, of blood glucose Smartwatches, you can find them all on my fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist on YouTube. And this claims to do a uric acid test and also do blood lipid monitoring. Those are new features that I haven't seen in any other watches so far in 2023. So that's why I went out and bought this guy. I'm going to go charge it up, wear it several days, and then come back with my full, fair, and honest review. So here I am back with the watch, and I believe this thing is a beauty. I like the looks of it. It's very comfortable on my wrist, and it's very even comfortable to sleep with. Not all smart watches can, can make that claim that they're comfortable to sleep with. Here's the main screen. There are a number of different screen watch faces you can use. There are some very attractive ones here, and like all these Chinese smart watches, there's a lot of clunkers here too. Um, but obviously the one I had up there is my favorite. I like the nice big number and then the comprehensive screen about your kilocalorie burn and your steps for the day. Uh, you turn that on, you swipe, you can get to your call logs, your contacts, you can dial right from the watch, and I've tested this, this works. This is a Bluetooth calling device, okay, so no SIM card, uh, but when you're paired with your phone via Bluetooth, you can make calls. It's got a speaker and a microphone built into the watch. I've tested it. It works really well. It does your heart rate in beats per minute. It does your blood oxygen saturation. There's your blood oxygen saturation. For this, it actually uses the red diode. It has both the green and red diodes in it. And I'll flip it over and show you that in a few minutes here. I believe that measurement is credible. Here's your ECG or EKG. To make this measurement, you have to use the app, or you should use the app. You press your index finger from your other hand on the side. There's a little electrode here. And then it will do your EKG, and it will come up with some um, advice as to whether it sees anything abnormal or not. This is not a medical device, so don't trust it as such. There's your progress indicators. Blood glucose monitoring. Um, yeah, I don't trust this. I'm not a medical doctor. I can't give medical advice, uh, and I don't really have to because it says right here in the instruction manual for most of these measurements, the test results are for reference only and cannot be used as medical data. This is not a medical device, but it does generate numbers for a number of these features here. Blood oxygen, oxygen saturation, ECG, blood glucose monitoring, it will do blood pressure. In my experience, this has been measuring it far too low for me. It will give you an indication of your body temperature. Really what it's doing here is measuring your skin temperature and then calculating. This is pretty accurate and I've been testing it with a, a fingertip device, so that's good. Here's a new measurement in these smart watches that I've never seen before. It's your blood lipid measurement for measuring your blood fat. It generates a number. I have no idea what it means. Even if I did, I wouldn't trust it because this is not a medical device, but I have never seen that feature before. And then it has a similar function here for uric acid measurements. Again, don't know what this number means. If it's something of interest to you, read up on it. This watch will generate a number, but I don't think you should trust it. These, you know, sub 
$40 smartwatches are not medical devices. They're not accurate, so don't trust them. Okay, if you swipe from the bottom up, this is where you can get your SMS messages, again, when tethered with Bluetooth, and you can get alerts on here. This is, I had it on the wireless charger. I've tested this, it works well. Uh, you can read your text messages right on the watch. Press that button twice, you get into your menu system, and I like the menu where it spells everything out here, your exercise modes, run, ride, mountaineering, walking, jump rope, fitness, ping pong, basketball, badminton, that's it. That's all the, the exercises there are. Your exercise records. Here's a workout I did. It gives you your kilocalorie burn, the time engaged in the activity, and... Uh, your heart rate, uh, the highest and lowest, and your average. So it gives you some information about your exercise. It does not recognize exercises. It just gives you your time engaged, kilocalorie burn, and, and heart rate information. Activity records, um, that's that progress bar, your heart rate, blood oxygen saturation, ECG, glucose, blood pressure. Uh, there's breath training to kind of help you relax. You breathe along, and, and uh, it will help you pace your breathing. There's that body temperature blood fat, uric acid, weather, it will pull the weather in from your phone uh, when attached to Bluetooth, that works pretty well, I like that feature. Um, there's your sleep tracking, it does a credible job for me, it's got a calculator in addition to the telephone, it's a music controller, controls the music on your phone, this does not store any mp3s locally, some information about the smartwatch, uh, I'm sorry, that's your information screen of the uh, uh, alerts that it's pushing to your watch, your stopwatch, timer, alarm clock, calendar, voice assist. Um, not sure what card is, all right? WeChat, QQ, Facebook, Twitter. Not really sure what all that is. You can use it as a remote uh, camera trigger for your phone. A uh, physiological tracker for females out there for cycle tracking. And uh, you can... Um, get into your settings and you can press the button here and it'll kind of make your phone beep if you misplace your phone it'll help you find it your screen display settings okay brightness the duration uh, raise your wrist automatically will turn the screen on I always turn that off to save battery life sound settings you can get into you know ringtones and mute modes do not disturb Select your language, vibration settings, interface style, timing, SOS, and about. Hey, it's a really cool watch. I like it a lot. Um, I think it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. But don't trust any of these health-related parameters to be accurate because it's not a medical device. Let's go look at the app. The app here is called Healthware, H-E-A-L-T-H-W-E-A-R. And I, I like it. It's simple, but it's easy. Here is your sleep tracking. Um, again, I, this has been pretty accurate for me. You can go back through the various days and see how, how your sleep is doing. And it gives you some indications here at the bottom. It says my sleep analysis, my sleep quality is great, that I should keep it up. I wish I got that every night. Unfortunately, I don't. Here's where you would do that EKG measurement, where you would put your finger on the watch, and then start the measurement here and it will take it and it'll do it in real time. Um, just trust me that works. It, it does that, that function uh, really well. Here's the blood pressure. Again, for me, uh, this, these measurements just seem far too low, so I don't trust them. Here's your heart rate and beats per minute. And again, you know, you can scroll back uh, through the days and see what your heart rate is doing over the course of an exercise or sleeping, what have you. Uh, here's that blood glucose measurement. All right, it gives you your highest, your lowest. I, this, to me, is kind of a random number generator. It shows me these peaks of roughly the same amplitude, whether I have a cup of coffee or a full meal or nothing at all. So I don't really trust these measurements at all. SpO2, that measurement to me is credible. Again, I've got a fingertip pulse oximeter, and the, the, it, it's very close to the pulse ox measurement, so I do trust that. Temperature, again, very close to what I know my body temperature to be. There's that blood fat uh, mystery blood lipid measurement. I don't, I don't know what this means. I just really, really don't. Um, but it gives you your highest, your lowest, and again, a blood fat analysis. It tells me it's in the normal range. Continue to maintain it. And then, of course, the uric acid measurement. Again, a mystery measurement to me, but that's why I'm doing this review of this watch to show you what features are coming out in these devices nowadays. So many of these watches are so similar today 
that they're just adding features to try to differentiate themselves, feature creep, because there's really not a whole lot new under the sun in terms of major new developments in these devices. So I think my reviews might actually slow down here for a while. Uh, but that's the app. You can get into your personal information. There you go, the ET310. Uh, that's the watch. You can clear the data. Um, you can look at your sports modes. Uh, you can really only record these when you're tethered uh, with your phone uh, via Bluetooth and it'll pull that in. But you know, that's it. Basic but good. Uh, here's my final bottom line. I like this ET310 uh, smartwatch for the basic information, the uh, sleep tracking and the heart rate monitoring, the rest of the features I just don't trust and neither should you. It's not a medical device. I know I keep saying that, but I cannot stress it enough. Um, don't treat these things as medical devices. Do not trust any health decisions to them. But I like it for a, like a, I think it was like a $30 watch, something like that, maybe $40. Um, I think it's pretty good for the money. If you like these features, I would recommend this. I'll drop a link to it below. I got this on AliExpress. Paid for it with my own money, um, but that money only comes from people interacting with this channel in some way. Uh, all the ad revenue I make there, I invest right back into the channel. This channel is primarily about kayaking and kayaks. I own a kayak manufacturing company. We make high-end racing and fitness kayaks, but I'm also an avid avid kayaker and hiker. So I like to review anything that's related to health and fitness or kayaking in some way. You can learn more at DaveTheKayaker.com. Until next time, stay healthy, be well, and uh, I'll touch base before too long. Thank you so much. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.